Hey everybody, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm going to show you the easiest way to add text boxes to your TikTok videos. Obviously, you can do this within the app itself, but when you need to add a bunch of text boxes, this can be super annoying and tedious. The method I'm about to show you is a free, easy way to add those text boxes to your TikTok videos. So you're going to start off at Kapwing Studio, which is just kapwing.com studio, and you can find the link in the description below. Just go ahead and click get started and you can either upload your TikTok content or paste the link to it if you post it somewhere. Uh, I'm just going to upload my video and once it's loaded, just go ahead and add all the text boxes you want throughout the video. With any of the text boxes, you can edit how they look on the sidebar here. And if you want it to look like the TikTok font, you can try around with uh, Montserrat or Notosans. Test out what looks the best to you. Um, and then to, you can change the line height, which will make the box larger and drag and drop the corners to make the box bigger or smaller. So once I have all the text boxes on there and they look the way you like, go ahead and hit timeline up above. And this is where you can edit the timing of each text box. So you have to find each layer and then shorten or lengthen it according to when you want it to show up. So this timeline goes from left to right. The video plays from left to right. So I want the, this video layer, this bottom layer in the timeline is the video itself. So I want that to be on the screen the whole time. But for example, the top, the first text box, this is my cat. I only want that to be the first few seconds. And in true TikTok style, I'm gonna have each of the other text boxes appear and disappear um, in like a waterfall sequence. So I've adjusted each of the text boxes the way that I hope the video will look. And if we play the whole thing over, this is what it looks like. Cool, so that's pretty accurate to what I wanted it to look like. If you wanna make any finer adjustments to the timing, um, you can click the layer you want and then go up to the left corner and lengthen or shorten when it starts or stops. Once you like how the video plays through, you can just go ahead and click done and then just click publish. As you can see, it was really easy to add all those text layers and just adjust the timing in a few minutes as opposed to re-watching the whole TikTok for every single text box. Um, and from here, you can either download the video and to get it on your phone, you can copy the link and send it to your phone. So once you have the link copied to your phone, you can go to the Kapwing app, which you can find in any app store. Um, it's just a simple app to help you get these videos to your phones. So just go to the Kapwing app, paste the link, and hit continue. And then it should just grab your content and you'll be able to save it to your camera roll. And from there, you can just upload it to TikTok. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what other videos you'd like to see in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.